children are not just little adults. And when they come to the hospital or receive any medical care, that needs to be focused on thinking about it from the child's perspective. Our goal through the Children's Surgical Experience Project is to create an environment more similar to a children's museum than a hospital. We want to have kids come into the waiting room and be kept in the waiting and preoperative area and be distracted through games and activities um, to help reduce their fear and anxiety. In essence, we want this to be a fun environment rather than a scary environment. And if we're able to do that, the patients and families will have reduced fear and anxiety and have an overall better experience at the hospital and that will more closely match the extremely high level of pediatric and children's surgical care that they receive at NHRMC. My son, Jace, we found out at 35 weeks gestation that he was gonna be born with um, gastroschisis which is a defect in the abdominal wall. So we met with Drs. Damer and Weiner here at New Hanover. They had put together a team just for Jace. That really, I think, helped take away a lot of the fear and the nervousness. He was here almost three weeks, and it was really considering, you know, your brand new baby being sick. It was actually a great experience. Each person that was there authentically cared about our baby. They weren't just there to do a job. We really felt just safe and secure with them. My son, Ian, uh, received care here at the New Hanover Regional Medical Center a little over two years ago. He had a major surgery done to correct a craniosynostasis, uh, which is an early closure of the growth sutures in the skull. Prior to the surgery, he avoided eye contact. He didn't like to be touched by anyone other than my wife or I. He did not play with other children. He still wasn't potty trained, even at age four. Uh, got a referral down here uh, and ended up speaking with Dr. Jas Cole. As soon as he laid eyes on Ian, he knew that there was an issue and it was, uh, the response time, everything was, was just so awesome that it's, it's hard to even convey how much gratitude we have for how quickly everything was done from that point to uh, provide Ian the care that he needed to make his life better and our lives better. Just being able to, to communicate well with your child is something that most of us take for granted. And that was something that we were not able to do before the surgery. After the surgery, things have just steadily improved. And now he doesn't just talk to us, he talks to others. He likes people. You know, he introduces himself to people more than I want him to sometimes. But, you know, it's, while that's problematic in some cases, it's still something that I'm happy to see. In the future at the resolution of this project, what I would uh, like to hear and see is that children are no longer quite as afraid or anxious about coming to the hospital, especially coming into the um, operative area. Ultimately, what's so important to think about is how would you want your child to be treated if they were to come through the hospital or, or have to undergo a medical procedure or medical care.